and we're live. I've had an interest lately personally over this uh, automation thing. I remember, I think I argued with Wings a long time ago. He had just seen that CPG Gray video. It's 15 minutes long, so we can't right. like play it here about how automation humans need not apply is what it's called. Uh, if, you, if you've never seen it, it's pretty interesting. And basically, he argues that this time technological advancement is different. So throughout all of history, you know, my example was like, you know, you got 15 guys with spears catching fish and then somebody invents the net and now 14 people are out of work. No, not necessarily. Then they just go to building huts and whatever and go into the next part of society. That's like a core tenant of economics that we learned in college. And it's always been true. But um, and, and CPG Greg knows this. He knows that throughout human history, every time technology has displaced someone, while on the individual level, it might be bad for that person on a society level. It's always been an improvement. You know, the, 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 our standard of living keeps rising. The whole global standard of living keeps rising. Anyway, his argument is this time it's different. This time technology will replace people and like there is no next level. They're just literally going to go out 30 percent of, of the workforce, something like that. Like transportation is the biggest sector and that's where it's going to be. That's and the argument furthers into where are they going to go? Wait, and creative jobs is an example. You go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So so I just didn't like the way you phrase it. The driving, which is a third of apparently jobs out there, is one of the first things on the uh, firing range to get. I'm sure I phrased that wrong. But um it, he's like, there's no place for rescue. You know, computers will do creative work. Computers will do medical work. Computers will do you know, all kinds of other stuff. Uh, a lot of it exists now. Um, you know, they, they have these robots that, you know, previous robots like would exist, say, on a General Motors assembly line had a very specific job, right? Like take this chassis, put it on a thing, attach it with eight bolts and then slide it down. Now, robots are generalists and they're doing much broader tasks and you can train them to do you know, a wide array of things, whereas before they were so specific, it didn't make sense. Um, this Chinese factory in Pyongyang, I think I pronounced that right. Um, no, fuck. I don't know where I got Pyongyang. Anyway, um, they replaced 90% of their humans with robots, which was interesting. Uh, it, it kind of means that like, it doesn't matter how cheap your labor is it's still difficult to compete with robots and they've seen a surge in production because the robots can, can work better than humans can and fewer defects. And, uh, I, I, I sit here and find myself in an advisory position, uh, somewhat on YouTube self-appointed, but also as a parent. And it's like, how the fuck do you deal with like the automation that's coming to this planet? I, I was watching a video today. Um, so tractors on farms, which is one of the many driving jobs, right? 30% of the economy. Um, tractors on farms, while they're GPS guided, they always have humans sitting in them, just monitoring all the equipment and stuff. Um, this, as far as I know, was the first tractor that operated without a guy in it. And uh, it was a combine. So he sort of, the tractor would po tow this big um, trailer, not a flat one though, like one that would hold grain. And uh, it just sort of followed him like it was supposed to do. And he would pour the, the grain into it. And um, so there it is, like one, like first job displaced. And I, I, I feel like I see evidence of this all over the place. I'm either seeing driving jobs that I know are going away or manufacturing jobs that the manufacturing, right? So the, the, like Trump is running on this thing saying that he'll bring manufacturing jobs back to America. But a lot of people are like, do believe that it's not even a matter of bringing them back to america like having them come from china to the u.s the jobs are gone they don't exist anymore robots are sewing your clothes robots are putting your things together if you used to build mufflers outside detroit now mufflers are built automatically and that job is not returning i, I i'm starting to buy into i don't know if it's completely true but this time it's different as a thing and it's like what do you tell people like one nice thing to do would be to make that quantum leap into ultimate wealth where it's not a problem for you like that would sound fantastic i don't know how to make that quantum leap that's that's really pretty fucking impressive um <sighs> occupational therapy audiologists oral surgeons healthcare social workers mental health social workers 
these are the kind of things that can't be outsourced or replaced, right? Plumbers, yeah. electricians, carpenters. Well, I don't know about carpenters, but yeah, a lot of these jobs will always exist in human Not form. Not for a long time. Think about that. I mean, like, you know, truck A to B program it. Like, we already have self driving cars. That's easy. But, like, I, I don't know how you do. I feel like we're still like 20 years away from a carpenter robot that can like, all right, we're going to rip up your floors, do it all. You know, he's going to track around and stuff like we're 20, 25 years away from that kind of a robot. long way away from that. No. That's just that's, too high. That, that's not that, something that's just every automated. living room's different. Yeah, it's, it's you know, think, I don't think you, you're not going like to have that. that kind of robot without some artificial intelligence. And everybody seems to be trying to put the kibosh on that. But um, here's the problem with those jobs. It affects it on such a big scale. OK, so if. Let's say let's use thirty percent of the workforce is now automated. Well, those people now have to find a job or don't have money. They don't have a home or can't buy a home, which then affects the jobs that are still obtainable, like carpentry and these trade skills. You know, if people don't have homes or there's not enough demand, then those you know, fighting for even those jobs is even harder now. You know, that's so, where the quantum leap is. Like it, yeah. if you're the guy that has the money suddenly you're going to be surrounded by a nation of impoverished people which right. there's your servant pool it's going to be very nice for <laughs> just you the difference between like the class gap is going to spread and uh um you know if you're at the bottom you get smushed like a grape if you're on top you don't uh, if you're in the middle good luck i don't know where you're falling on this thing um but it seems like a major i think problem you, you know it, it change for sure and uh, I, I saw this. I saw far this. Far ways off. Go on. Is, that, is it? Well, I mean, it'll probably happen in my lifetime. But you know, to automate every transportation job, I still think. Well, now you set the bar ago. too high. All right. If in ten years transportation jobs start disappearing, and I think sooner than that, I think it's already starting right now, right? Because some of those transportation jobs, we all look at long haul trucking. That's a thing. But transportation jobs like factory forklift operator already disappearing. Some of that stuff is being automated. There are robots that sit waist high, moving things from one spot in a factory or one spot in a warehouse to another <clears throat> uh, with, you know, you see the lines painted on the ground. Like that's a thing that humans used to do that are, is now being replaced by robots. It's a transportation job, a, a short one in a controlled right. environment, but that's where it starts. You know, it, it's. But I don't think it's a problem until you've gotten through most of those jobs. Like you said, those jobs are already for the most part replaced. You know, you've got what your your small medium trucks, you know, like UPS, those kind of carrier services and whatnot. You got your long haul trucking, various other transportations of hauling and stuff like that. And you've still got small warehouses and stuff that aren't automating it, that don't have the benefit of like Amazon and a lot of these places. Uh, I think when you get it, when you start replacing more, then it is a problem. But yeah, nah, the nah. long haul stuff seems like a like. I can imagine long haul trucking being replaced like it won't happen. But this year, I bet we have the technology right now, especially if you remove the city part, right? If I'm bringing tr goods from L.A. to New York, great. Get out of the city, get on the highway, hook up the automated trailer, and then somebody greets it in outside New York, hooks up the you know to a man, and he takes it the last mile. Well, yeah, we've had self-driving cars for, I feel like, since 2007 or eight. You know, that's Google's had that for a while now, and those still aren't in, you know, there's another industry of transportation to, you know, taxis, Uber, Lyft, those type of things that are going to get outsourced and people just maybe picking those over owning a car, period. Like in the city, in big metropolitan cities, you wouldn't own a car that's going to affect car sales and stuff like that because they already take taxis. It, you know, how cheap is it to not have to pay an employee but rent a fucking Google taxi service now? You know, Google will undercut the taxi market I, and it's safer than a taxi cab driver. It's it's it's. But I think we're still a while out there. I, I think it'll start to happen in my lifetime. But I feel like, you know, when you look at how many on the road vehicles that are autonomous now to that level of unemploying people, it's just not there. We have self-driving cars. Uh, go 30 not, miles or whatever uh, now but I, you say in your lifetime i think in my lifetime i think it'll happen while i'm still working right and that's not that long um it's yeah anyway huge changes in the economy and the world with a quantum leap in robots and computing and uh i feel like i feel like the whole world is just sort of 
not managing their career around this sea change. Well, a lot can happen in 30 years, too. For all we know, we've got a maglev train that goes throughout the entire United States, and we don't even need on-the-road vehicles. I mean, who, I mean, so much can happen in 30 years. It's hard to really guess if this is the crux of she where... is you and your train shift. dreams that will never be realized. <laughs> <laughs> Those are just a fast shit. Dream. <laughs> fast the cars. Yeah. And I stand by my cars will be banned in 100 years. They're I will not gonna live there to see it, but... Who knows? I might. Once again, a lot can happen in 30 years.